Hello, my name is Saruzai Muyambo. I will be talking about pharmacogenetics of isoniazid. Isoniazid is an orally administered first-line TB prodrug. Being a prodrug, it is activated via the CAT-G pathway to become an active drug which then inhibits mycolic acid biosynthesis within the cell wall of a mycobacteria. Isoniazid is administered in combination with rifampicin and pyrazinamide and it has both bactericidal and bacteriostatic effects. Bactericidal on fast growing mycobacterium and bacteriostatic on slow growing mycobacterium. Isoniazid drug is metabolized by hepatic phase 2 N acetyltransferase enzyme, which is abbreviated NAT2. The NAT2 is encoded by an 870 base pair NAT2 gene, which is located on chromosome 8 in humans. There are basically two routes of metabolism of isoniazid in human liver, which are acetylation and dehydrogenation. The acetylation pathway is as shown here, which is this one, and this one, and this one, all of which are catalyzed by the NAT2 enzyme. Depending on level of acetylation, in slow acetylators, isoniazid drug and its metabolites tend to accumulate, resulting in side effects such as peripheral neuropathy, hepatotoxicity, and cancers. Isoniazid also inhibit CYP3A4 and CYP2C19 activity. Rate of acetylation of the isoniazid drug is genetically determined. To date, over 65 NAT2 SNPs have been reported, of which 7 have been found to be most frequent in populations studied so far. SNPs can be synonymous or non-synonymous. Synonymous SNPs cause no change in amino acid sequence of a protein and non-synonymous SNPs cause a change in the amino acid sequence of a protein as shown in part B of the diagram. Non-synonymous SNPs reduce messenger RNA expression and thereby reduce NAT2 enzyme expression. In other cases, non-synonymous SNPs have been found to cause protein instability, resulting in variable enzyme activity in patients affected. Genetic variation do influence exposure levels. As shown in this diagram, we have the NAT2 genotypes on the horizontal axis and the ratio of plasma isoniazid and its metabolite shown on the vertical axis. Slow acetylators with the mutant genotype do have a lower ratio as compared to the intermediates and the wild type uh, genotypes. 50% Caucasians and African Americans are slow acetylators, therefore they are, do accumulate isoniazid leading to toxicity. 80-90% Asians and Eximos are rapid acetylators with an elimination half-life of 1 to 1 1.8 hours. African populations have been found to be genetically diverse with all three phenotypes being observed in populations studied so far. NAT2 genotype account for over 88% variability in response to isoniazid, making it a good genetic factor to incorporate in dosing algorithm for isoniazid. Though independent replication of genotype phenotype association is required before implementation of the process, and also prospective clinical trials are needed to assess merits of the pharmacogenetics approach. 
Barriers to the implementation process are summarized in the small diagram shown below. I thank you.